What's up, YouTube? Do you feel like you here? Bringing you a little bit of a news update on the Dragon Ball Super card game. Um, I, I'm there's some of the stuff's been out for a little bit, but I know I'm a little behind. But it, there's a bunch of stuff to go over, so I think I'm okay. Um, there's gonna be more updates releasing as the release comes, the second set comes out, or as time gets closer to the second test come out, which I believe is November third is the drop date. So expect pack openings around November third as well. But before then, there's gonna be a lot of stuff going, so I probably won't. Every day, I probably won't. Do, maybe I will. Maybe I will because there are the dates on there. So maybe plan for each day they drop in the news. Maybe I'll do an update from now on. But first, let's kind of jump into this. And so, so basically, if you haven't seen this, the next set is called Union Force. Now, it's really neat the direction where they're going with a lot of stuff. And there's a few different um, arcs that they're going over in this set, and even movies, which in the movies. So basically, it's all Dragon Ball stuff. I don't know if they're ever gonna bring in things like. Um, the video games and stuff like that but it definitely seems to be they're going from you know they have not done dragon ball yet either so that'll be interesting but either way let's move on into this as you, oh, you can see you see november 3rd is the release date packs the same so one booster 24th a lot of data but so there's 127 cards in the set so there are 60 commons 30 on commons 18 rares 14 super rares one secret rare and four special rares so secret rare is a completely new rarity in this set so that's a completely new card we don't know what it's going to be or what it's going to look like but that is a completely new thing then there's still going to be the four special rares so like the frieza the broly uh the hit and the goku from the last set there are going to be four of those as well from so one of each color i'd assume and then a secret rare what it is i don't know and then there's but I, the rares and super rares are actually up from the last set which is actually really cool so moving on uh series two is union force is the theme uh, the video, if you want to see, I'll link this, uh, the website down below if you want to watch this video if you haven't seen it already. It's a cool video. Uh, it's neat. As you can see, the, the picture here. So, obviously by this picture, so we're going to obviously be in Cell, Zamasu, Kale. I, I did not realize Kale was going to be set. So, uh, it's obviously, so it's um, the Future Trunks arc from Super. Um, it looks like the Universe universe Survival arc, uh, Cell Saga, um, Boo Saga, um, and then the Meta Cooler movie. And so, I, oh, I didn't. Did not see Jiren over here either, so that's really cool. So they're definitely doing a mixture of stuff. Um, they're adding new decks into this into the, the fold, and they're kind of strengthening old ones. We'll, we'll talk about that as we go through some of this stuff. Um, definitely when we get to the blue, there's a I have a blue the tab for the blue cards, the new blue cards. I've only only one they've really released so far, but um, I can't really read these uh, descriptions. They're very hard to read. I could try, but I mean, if you want to go ahead, I'll leave the link, but. Just kind of go over so this is basically the four major new themes that they're introducing which isn't it isn't just these four there are sub sub decks within each of these colors and ones that they're building on from the original set as well so the first one is obviously is red and red looks to be the majin buu saga so basically uh looks like we have majin vegeta which is his ultimate evil dark prince vegeta which is interesting i don't know i can't tell if i think he does have the majin mark on his head um fat boo which is Holy hell, 10 cost, which is a 10 cost common, which is interesting. I can make that out. Uh, it looks like the Vegeta is a rare. And so I, <laughs> 10 cost, that's going to be ridiculous. I don't like it. So it's got it. It's probably stupidly strong, just really, really hard to get out and maybe not worth the trouble. And then we do have Grand Evil Absorption Majin Buu. So this looks to be, I'm assuming this is going to be the SR of the red one of the srs of the reds i don't know if it's going to be the alternate or this is going to have an alternate art or not but it's really cool so it's um it's it's gohan absorb boo which is really cool with like see his long tail so this is obviously going to be one of the staple cards of the boo deck i'd assume uh, then we do have an uncommon mind controlled bobbity and then an uncommon debora the wizard's right hand which is really cool it's really cool they're putting a debora bobbity like I love the the like the all the characters that bring in with these cards. Like you, they don't leave anything out as far as I can tell. And then they're moving on. So blue is no more mortals fused as a Masu. So the blues definitely have the most diversity as I I can see so far. Um, we have a lot. We we have the Saiyans, but the other thing that they're really going for is gods. So I don't know if you can see. It does say God. So this actually Goku Black is considered a Saiyan and a God. And then Zamasu is just a God. Uh, we have had God cards before, which obviously everybody's favorite blue God is the seven drop Beerus, which will fit. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit of the blue, but there's there's going to be a, basically a God deck. In, as From what I can tell, you can make a God deck. So 
as you can see, we do have Vegeta the Proud Father. I think we've gone over this card before. Trunks the Constant Hope. So I'm assuming this is going to be uh, uh, SR as well. He's got the sword, the Sword of Hope. Um, we'll see. And then this one, if, it, if it's secret, it's got to be an SR. And it's a, but this is a 10 cost Infinite Force, Infinite Force Fused Zamasu. That is crazy. So just like this Boo. So this card might actually be worth the 10 cost that it is unlike this one might be a little bit of a pain because it's a common so if this is an sr i think that's going to be if it's that good and you're going to people are going to figure out ways um I, as far as like, there probably are going to be better energy production as well coming out so that might be not be so much of a problem i mean 10 is still going to be a lot but we'll see and then we do it we have warrior of the gods goku black which is an uh just a common and then zamasu and the invincible which we have gone over this one i think we might have gone over the black as well but I know we've gone over the Invincible, which is the Uncommon, which is basically this is the card that has the Indestructible perk or skill, which is it basically you can't be knocked out. Uh, I, I haven't, there might be one way to do it, but I'm not 100% sure. You have to kind of, I'm sure they're going to release a rule book also with this, which might be maybe something we can go over. Um, but either way, moving on. So green, as makes sense, is the Cell Saga. So, which we only have one Cell card right here, but it's the Android. So we have Android 16, Iron Hammer Android 16, which... I can't tell. I think it's a common, which is kind of cool. Three cost, 15,000, not bad. Terrible creator, Android 18. Um, so I, so he's actually a blocker, now that we're talking about that. So the 16 is a blocker. Uh, Android 20 is just has an auto, 10,000. So this is kind of like just a drop card, which is not bad. And then the seven cost, perfect for sell. So this is, I, I would assume this is going to be the SR as well. Really excited for this card. Now, what I am curious about, is we do have a cell card in the game right now, but it's only a tournament cell. I'd be curious to see if they're going to put the tournament cards from the previous set in this. So like if this cell is like similar or if they're going to have a similar cell in, in the set. So you don't have to only get the tournament cards, which I would, I would think would only be fair. It's just, the, you know, tournament cards you have them early, obviously for a few months, but then they release them in a set. We'll see. That'll be, I'm curious to see. Um, then we have obviously 17 and 18, twin brother and twin sister. I'm, a, I would, I'm guessing uh, that these probably work together. I think they're just commons. 15,000, three drops. They're not terrible. They do have an auto and it says once per turn. I can't exactly tell. And if you, and if you trust me, if you do zoom, it's still blurred. It's starting to read. Um, a lot of these they aren't trying to hide much of, except for the ones that do say secret on them. Which actually curious. This trunks has a very small text box. If you're looking at that secret thing. But either way, and so does actually the cell. So these might actually work together, which would be kind of cool. So I'd be curious to see if there's like an Android deck or something like that to go with the greens because it's kind of hard to expand off the Saiyans and Broly with these. You might be able to fit a cell in there, but I don't know about, I mean, actually the blue, the green deck, you could be eh, the Broly is Broly. So, I mean, we'll see. There's going to obviously going to be themes, sub themes to each of these. And then finally the yellow is yellow infinite multiplication meta cooler core. This is interesting. So this is basically just the cooler movie, cooler movies. Because this is, I believe, this is the original Cooler movie, which is uh, Cooler's Army Squadron Leader Salsa, and then obviously the Meta Cooler movie. And obviously, uh, the, yeah, it's Meta Cooler, and then these these two outside cards are from the original Cooler movie. So we have Cooler Armor Squadron uh, Leader Salsa, which is, uh, I think, an uncommon. I can't really tell. The yellow's hard blends with the white really well. Um, so we'll see how that is. 15,000, four cost. So it's probably an uncommon. And then we have the two cost infinite multiplication meta cooler which this might be kind of cool i think this is an uncommon as well which is, might be kind of neat i wonder if you can like get multiple of these out or something like that um and then infinite the infinite force meta cooler core so this is probably the sr of the set as well i this I'm, I'm just guessing that the secrets are the srs of the set so we'll see looks like a neat card i'd be really curious to see if this is the yellow card they're going to make the uh, spr it might be kind of crazy and then the Awakening Core Meta Cooler over here, which is, does look like an uncommon, has a lot of effects. 20,000 damage, 5 cost. So this is probably a decent like, beater card to get on mid-game. And then a 3 cost uh, Coors... Coolers? Coors. <laughs> Coolers Arbor Squadron uh, Dore, I think it is. And I think he might be a common. 10,000, 3 cost. And Mike, my bad. He does have a lot. I think he is the blocker of the set. He has double strike. He's blocker. This one does evolve. And as you can see, you can kind of make out what some of these say. I didn't really actually go over any of these up here. But yeah, so this boo is double strike, which is interesting. But scrolling down, it's the picture of the trunks of the sword. Which actually, I think this is, yeah, it's, it's this art right here. So this is the full picture of this one, whether whatever that is. So he's 
Obviously, he is actually a pack cover, so I'd assume he is the SR. And so now Series 2 is huge. So what they're talking about is it's, it is uh, quite a bit more cards. It's 13 more cards, I believe. Yeah, no. Wait. Yeah, 13 more cards. I can do math. It's fine. So the breakdown is more. So it's same amount of commons, same amount of uncommons, more rares, more secret rares, or more super rares, I believe it is, and one secret rare, and then the, special, the four special rares. So this is the same. This is new and more of these, which is really cool. And the new rarity secret rare the secret will be revealed on november 3rd obviously there i think you're, we're not going to find out unless somebody gets sets early we're not going to find out what the secret rare is until the set releases most likely we'll see so um moving on from here i don't know if i actually set these up right okay yeah so basically so this is going to be kind of the theme of union force this is going over some of the cards and card effects so well this is actually over the union so this is actually a new kind of way to play the game or kind of fusions or way to brings out cards you'll see You'll understand once I read it. So it has a ton of new keyword skills that lets you combine cards for even more power. So uh, so here's a red. So actually, that's, this is curious. So this is red Boo Saga, but it is Vegito. So it's Lightning Speed Vegito. So his uh, skill is Union Patara. So it costs three to do. Uh, I believe three with no no energy cost. So Sun Goku and Vegeta place these cards place this card in active mode on top of the two specified cards stacked together so i don't know exactly how this is going to work i don't know if you have to have them on the field already or if you have them in your hand and you can stack them like that but it still costs three to do i'm i would assume that it have they have to be on the field and it costs three to do from the five which is actually a good thing but you do lose two cards from it so permanent this card can attack battle cards that are in active mode. That, we don't have a lot of cards that can do that. That's actually going to be a useful skill. Auto. At the end of battle, after this card attacks, place 10 cards from the top of your deck in your drop area. Then choose up to one Vegito with 25,000 power from your drop from your drop area and evolve it in, into by placing on top of this act in active mode. So, so basically this is a good and bad card at the same time you can hope that you dump the cards and that the vegeto that evolves is in there so it's obviously probably gonna be super vegeto i wonder if there's gonna be a vegeto blue that you could possibly evolve as well that might be kind of a curious thing to see you you hope that that's gonna be there and then you can dump it and there or it's already in your drop area some from something you did i mean there's ways to dump cards that you can so we'll see different so this is a different way so it's a lower cost to bring out cards but it does seem to have a negative back effect so now so this is union pataro so now there's union absorb which is a cell skill so grow in life form cell union absorb place one android 17 from your hand under this card choose up to one cell with an energy cost of five or less from your deck from your deck and place it on top of this card and shovel afterwards so that's actually really cool and it doesn't actually look like it has um a cost so you're just you you basically lose a 17 for doing it so basically you can i just would i would guess that you're going to go into second form cell with this skill i'm assuming that's how all the cells do which is actually kind of cool this one does seem it is an uncommon so it does seem to be i kind of like it better there's no drawback to it we'll see how it works in practice and then the final one that they're going over is Union of well, it's Union Absorb as well, but it's a meta cooler. So this one costs five. So two cost two yellows and a and three of any other color to do. So energy. Place one big getty star in your battle area under this card. Choose up to one meta cooler core from your deck and place it on top of this card. Shuffle your deck afterwards. That is interest and absorb skill this one this one depicting the fusion of big getty star with meta cooler core after the fusion complete you can play even more powerful meta cooler cores of oh, some maybe there's other cards that are meta cooler cores we'll see that might that's kind of interesting so that there's a lot of different so these are just three examples they kind of give of the unions they're they're cool it's different it's ways different ways to play card um, it's cool that they're kind of using fusion or different ways just kind of incorporating the characters that happen you know in the show or the movies to do this which is neat so the next thing i think we have to go over is the blue cards so this is the first like kind of big announcement they had this is basically the blues cards in the set so 
blue is hope versus despair. It was basically what they're going over. So now we do, we have seen some of these before. So this is the Zamasu leader. We have talked about this before. Um, he is a rare, so he is the hollow one. So here's your previous, the previously announced leaders. So we, we're not going to go over this one. Um, this, I'm not sure if we've gone over. So it's Determined Striker, Super Saiyan Blue, Son Goku. So this card is the ability to counter and even nullify your opponent's attack. Strategies are offer even more varied than Series 1, which is very true so far. So we can actually click on these and make them bigger, see if we can actually... Oh, it doesn't... So, yeah, okay, you can actually see it. So, counter. So he is a counter, which is kind of cool, too. Um, play this card and negate the attack. Permanent. When activating this card's counter, if you have three or less life, you may place two Saiyan from your hand to the drop area. If you do, reduce the energy cost of this card by three for the duration of the cur uh, the turn. So instead of four to counter, it's one to counter if you have three or less life, which is cool. So that's a, it's a really, it's a, it's a, this is a really good late game counter to kind of like hold on. I've, I've gotten to a lot of matches where it gets, gets down to the wire where it's you and your opponent and wh whoever can negate the other one's attacks best is basically going to be the winner of the game. So that's going to be really cool to run. I'm definitely going to be building a blue deck or a couple blue decks from this. And we'll kind of go over why. So then the next card we have is Weak Weiss the Sacred Guard. When this ironclad defense with both blocker skill that prevents him from being removed from play. So he is a blocker. Obviously we know what a blocker does. Um, and then permanent. This card cannot be KO'd by your opponent's card skills and does not leave the battle area due to skills. So basically he can be attacked... So basically, if you do block with him, he will remove, but no skills can remove him. So Broly, like Broly could not remove this card from play, which is really cool. He's a common card, so he's just a blocker, but he is a four-cost blocker. So he's he's a, a stronger blocker, though. So it, it, it I guess it evens out, but it's obviously not that crazy. So it's kind of a cool card. But we, do, we will see a lot of this here. So this isn't necessarily going to work with the Saiyans. It's going to work more with the gods. You'll, we'll see as we go on more. So now, Zamasu, the alert god. Zamasu has a new keyword, indestructible. He can nullify your opponent's attacks by letting him sell in both offense and defense. He is a rare. Um, is this the one we've gone over? So this one is actually, I don't think we've gone over this one. So this is an evolve. He caught a five to evolve to Zamasu. Indestructible. This card cannot be a Kato'd by your opponent's card skills or battle and does not leave the battle area. So... I still don't know if there's really a way to do it. Uh, maybe there's an extra card that can do it, but any card skills or any and battle it does not remove it. So he is pretty much on the field for almost the entire game if you can get him out there. Um, when your opponent's card attacks this card, if your leader card is Zamasu or Goku Black, which we do have the Zamasu up there, and we do have a Goku Black leader as well. Um, I don't think that's in this in these sets though, but there it is there somewhere. I, maybe I can find it. You may place one card from your hand to the drop area. If you do, negate that attack and negate this skill for the duration of the turn. So you can place a card from your hand and negate a, just negate an attack. When your opponent's card attacks... Okay, so basically, if it's attacking, you can just prevent an attack entirely, which is kind of cool. We're just dropping a card. That's not bad. That's a basically a one-time thing. That's a good card, actually. That's a really nice card. And he's got this is actually the deck I'm probably going to be building another set for sure. It's the one I'm definitely most excited for. It's the god. It's basically the blue god deck. And there's there's a lot of really cool cards with it. And as you see, there's Zeno down here. So then the next one, this is actually the first uh card we've seen from the Tournament of Power. So it's Returning Evil Golden Frieza. And he is actually an SR. So uh five cost, he's double strike, doesn't evolve. Uh let's see, he's auto. When you play this card, choose one of your battle cards and return it to your hand. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and place it at the bottom of their deck. Cards stacked under that card are placed in the drop area. So <laughs> this, yes, you lose a card, but it only goes back to your hand. But your opponent gets a card dumped to their deck at the bottom of it. And so unless they shuffle their deck, they're not going to get that card back, most likely for the rest of the game, which is really cool. So that's a good card. It's a good SR. And double strike, 25,000. Always good. Frieza. I'd be curious to see. He only he costs two blue. I'd be curious to see if you could uh, fit this into the existing Frieza deck. And I do believe now with these cards, it might be easier to build multicolored decks as well. So we'll see. We'll see as more cards come out and what we have. So the final card that we have here is the Zeno button. With the Zeno button is a counter card that can only be used during your opponent's turn. The effect is massive, allowing you to reset everything just like the Zeno button in the show. Which is really neat. It's a common card. So counterattack. Switch all of your blue energy to 
active mode. So zero cost. So this this actually zero cost and no thing. So it is blue energy. So mainly mainly in blue decks. But if you are running blue energy or blue in any other deck, you can basically switch all your energy to active mode. So you have you can expand all of your energy in one turn and then counter this. Use this counter and then get all your active. So your opponent thinks, oh well, I'm gonna easily do this. Nope. You can just here all my energy. Now what are you gonna do? Which is really cool. So it's a really nice card. And it's oh, it says the card list is here. I didn't actually click this. Oh, we oh we did kind of go over this. So this is so here's the Goku Black Leader. Uh did we go over all these? There's a few of these in here that are actually I did not. So this is actually new. So we're gonna go over a couple of these. Since I did talk about it first, we will go over the so we have talked about the trunks before, but we will talk about the Goku Black. Activate main. Once per turn, if you have two or more blue energy, choose one card in your life and place it in the energy area. At the end of the turn, choose one of your energy and place it in your drop area. Oof, so that's not phenomenal. Is he an SR? No, he's just an uncommon, which is interesting. Awaken, four or less. See the front. So permanent. During your turn, if you have two or less life, oof, this card gains plus 5,000 power and double strike. So only during your turn, and which I mean is double strike on the man, but 5,000 power would be beneficial in both turns. This card, obviously, so the auto, when this card attacks, draw one card. So this is actually the first uncommon that I've seen that kind of has a drawback to it. At least on the front side. So now, uh, let's go down. We, we talked about this one already. Uh, Mighty attacks on Goku, three cost, one fifteen thousand, and he has critical. So just the critical three cost. Kind of cool, not bad. Um, this, this is actually kind of cool. So future, this is future trunks. It's his future trunk saga, but this future trunk saga is this future Gohan, which wasn't in the super one. This is from Z. So he's a three cost, fifteen thousand common auto at the end of your at the end of the battle battle at the end of the battle after you combo with this card from your hand. If your leader is blue, play this card in rest mode. That's kind of cool. So you get a card in rest mode automatically. So it's just a card on the field. That's not bad. Um, then Vegeta the Proud Father. I think we've talked about this. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. I know I, when we play this card tr with True Trunks Future Skill. Oh, so there's a skill that plays this. Choose up to when your opponent battles card and KO it. Uh, this is so activate main. Place this card at the bottom of your deck. Choose one blue Sun Goku with an energy cost of three or less and play uh, from your hand and play it. Oh, that's not bad. So you can just kind of dump this for a Goku if you need it, which isn't too bad. Um, on Yield and Spirit Trunks. Uh, I think we have gone over this one. During your turn, you combo this card. If you, your leader card is blue, shift one energy and switch it to active mode. And that's not bad. Bulma, support of the future. I don't, do not believe we've talked about this. When you play with this card, you may choose up to one Trunks feature with an energy cost of four or less from your deck and add it to your hand and then shuffle your deck. So that's cool to get a Trunks out for one cost to a thousand. But that's all she has. So she's, her special trait is Earthland Future Trunks. Talk. So basically, she's just to get Trunkses. Um, now this is I, this is actually a good card. We haven't gone over this one. Is this Beerus the Essence of Destruction? It has a double strike. It's a four cost double strike. Auto. When you play this card, your opponent chooses a number of cards from their hand equal to the number of battle cards in their battle area with an energy cost of one or less and places the cards on top of their deck in any order. Then your opponent returns all their battle cards and energy cost of one or less to their hand. So it basically it gets a lot of one cost from back from the field, which is a cool way to wipe different things. So maybe there, there are one cost uh, blockers. So that's a good way to do that. Um, we already went over this. Oh, group leader P. So there are the peel off cards, uh, and there's actually future Mai as well. So the peel off is the one cost counter. So counter battle card attack. Play this card, then choose one keyword skill of the attacking card and negate it for the duration. So you could. You can negate union. You can negate a lot of different things of in the skill area. So blocker. You could uh, any. I don't know. If, maybe you could even uh, negate the permanent. So this actually might be a way to get rid of the Zamasu. So you can negate the indestructible. So I negate indestructible, and you can get rid of that Zamasu. So that is one way to do that. So then we have Shu, who is just a two cost, fifteen thousand. So it's just it's kind of funny. He's the two cost fifteen thousand of the set. Earthland seems to be a trait that's going around too. So maybe there's something we can do with Earthlands as well. Uh, we have a common Mai. Uh, she's a blocker, so she's a two cost, 5,000 blocker. Not bad. If future trunks is in your battle area or your leader or leader area, you may play this card from your hand without paying its energy cost. So that's pretty cool. That's not bad. It's a cool way to get a free blocker out with trunks. If you're a trunks leader, this would be a great card to run because you just boom, there you go. No energy cost. Um, 
Power Love My is a blocker as well. Two cost blocker. And she's just a blocker. So two cost blocker. Okay. And then Courageous Heart Yajirobe is a blocker. Two cost blocker as well. And Revenge. Oh, with it's KO. So that's actually, that, I actually like that as a blocker. I would run four of those for sure. Because yes, you, you could basically knock out cards really easy. Oh, I'm going to block. That's actually a really good card. And it's a common? Man, think about that. You can knock out anything. You block anything's attack. And, oh, sorry, it's gone. That's really cool. And then we have Tiny Heroes, Haru and um, Miki, or Maki. Um, auto, when you play this card, choose one of your other battle cards. It gains plus 1,000 power for each of your energy for the duration of the turn. So you could, if you late game, you could really stack that, which is really cool. Um... So we have we went over this one already. We went over this one already. Uh, and then what's the, what's on page two? Uh, we already went over this one. Oh, that's right. This is where the gods get kind of cool. This is on common. So God, God of the gods, great priest. Double strike auto. When you play this card, if your leader card is God, choose any other any number of God in your battle area and add them to your energy area in rest mode. So you can basically dump a bunch of energy on the so. This is actually really cool because if you had a bunch of one costs, you could actually get a bunch of extra energy to be set up for the next turn. Although, granted, he is seven costs, so he's going to be kind of hard to get out. But yeah, so there, this is kind of revolving what I was talking about with the god deck. And then also, so is the, so is this Zeno the Playing God. Auto, when you play this card, negate all other battle skills, which is really good. Then choose all cards in both players' hands as well as... All other battle cards and return their decks. Shuffle both decks afterwards. Both players draw five cards. Cards stacked under other cards are in the drop area. So basically wipes the field. So you could really do... See, it's a seven as well. But you could really play this to your benefit. If there's some, you're in a bad situation, you can be like, okay, well, I'm going to dump this card out and then reset the field, which is really cool. Which causes people to have to set up more and differently and everything like that. So the next, I think... No, no, there's more. Wow, I think they've added more. So Universe 10... King uh, Supreme Kai Guasu, um, when you, this is a common, when you play this card, look at the top three of your top of your deck, choose up to one god among them and add to your hand, shuffle your deck. So, as you can see, there really is going to be a strong god presence. So, there's a god blue deck that you can make, and which is actually going to be Goku Black or Zamasu can be your leader for that, which is really cool. Father Son Gallic Gun is an extra card, actually, because we haven't seen many of these yet. So, choose up to one of your opponent's battle card, return to their hand. So, that's kind of cool. So you can do that, which is, this would be cool to use, like I said, card stacked in order to be a drop area. So cards that evolve, this would be really good on. Um, that's not too bad, so cost two. And then we have Mafuba. So it's a counter. <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually. Uh, negate the attack and place this card on the attacking card at the end of the, at the opponent's next turn. Place this card and only this card in the drop area. As long as this card is stacked on another card, it can, it is not treated as a battle area and cannot act a skill number. So basically... You lock, you basically lock a card for a turn. Not too bad. It, if I'm sure you can use it one way or another. So you can do two costs to lock a card down for a turn. So basically they can't attack. They can't use any of their skills. Stuff like that. Um, time ring. This is this, So this is a common. Activate main. Look at the top ten cards of, of your deck. Choose up to one Goku Black or Zamasu among them. If you have four or more energy, choose two instead. So that's kind of cool. Choose to add up to the two and up to choose up to two add the chosen cards to your hand and shuffle your deck so it's just a way to get two cards for that you might want from there earlier on uh time machine trunks is a common one cost activate main if your leader card is trunks future look at the time card of your deck choose up to one goku sun goku vegeta or trunks future among them add it to your hand and shuffle your deck if you have four so basically uh oh if you have four or more energy choose one of your energies put it active so kind of similar to the Time ring, just a little you switch, you get activate energy instead of getting two cards. Not too bad. We already went over the Zeno button, and that's that's pretty much that for this. So then the this video is so stupidly long. And then the last thing that I do want to go over really quick, since this video is going, not gonna go over this long. This is so they are gonna have a tournament pack for set two. And here are the tournament pack cards. So you have uh, a a Majin Vegeta, a hit, a Vegito, Super Vegito, uh Goku Black Rose, Super Saiyan 2. Go, Gohan from uh, Cell, uh, Android 17, a, another Frieza, and a Captain Ginyu, which is really cool. And here are the, actually, these are actually the covers of the cards as well, the, the pack. So that we get a Vegito, we get a uh, Zamasu, Merge Zamasu, a Cell, and uh, Future Trunks. And then, so this is the 
so we actually these all were getting sleeves as well which is kind of cool so we get the villain sleeve and i'm assuming we'll have hero sleeves is what i'm gonna guess but either way this video has been going on way too long so i'm gonna get out of here if you did enjoy this video if you like the info going over please leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more dragon ball super content but i'm gonna get out before i do remember stay lucky